school days. Uh, I went to school in 1920 and left in 1930. Uh, I have happy memories of Stratton School and maybe lots of different stories that I can mine on. Uh, the headmaster, Mr Skinner, was a bit of a character in those days. Uh, he had a law in Tlamsail and he was Irish. Uh, as Bairns, whenever he appeared into the playing field, Arthur stopped dead. The lasses led down their skipping ropes, the loons stupid, playing football, and Abdi lined up and saluted them. Uh, <coughs> on a Friday, he was off now at EIS meetings or League of Nations meetings, and uh, if he appeared in the morning with his tail hat on, there was great relief because he was going to war with the 10 o'clock train or the 1 o'clock in. But if he came with the soft hat on, he was not going to war, a war or he maybe appear at dinner time with the tail hat on. No, that being holidays, summer holidays, six, seven weeks, a, maybe 10 days at Easter and 10 days at the New Year. Uh, and then we had the two local holidays, only two second holidays then, uh, the first Monday in June and the first Monday in October. But uh, we look at forward to the fee and market day. Now it was usually the second or third Monday or May and uh, November. Now the market was held on the market stands, it was just like a fair. Uh, the farm servants are gathered at the Fakir Chemist Memorial Corner there and uh, a lot of feeing would have been done there and uh, then around about 10 o'clock they are moved down to the market stands where there was the fair, the swing boats, uh, shooting galleries, cheap jacks, uh, confectioner lads for the broch, they would have sold hot pies, they would have been got for the local baker. Right. Uh, a message boy to Joy Simpson the baker in the high street and uh, that job entailed in the morning being up quarter to seven, collecting the rolls, delivering to the houses in the village, uh, rolls to the hospital up the Bray and then uh, I think it was 1926 that the uh, Stricken House Hydro Hotel started and I had to deliver rolls uh, there. Many a time I would have been a while with my golden treasury book learning my poetry for the school out of the way there and back. No bicycle, just I think it to be walked. And uh, usually come on home for the year, maybe through the woods looking for birds nest and nest in time. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, the nineteen twenties again, Stricken was a very, very busy place. Uh, then we had three bakers five tailors. You didn't get into Hepworths or Burtons or something of that kind. Uh, the tailors made all the suits and in a village like Stricken five tailors was a lot. Three butchers, Crichton's Mills and North Street, they would uh, employ 40-50 men. Uh, what else we had? Uh, a, a local bus service, Shani. He uh, ran to Banff, Frisborough to Banff, twice a day, collected the mails for the station, and delivered them to Newportslege and Baith and Crudy on the road to Banff. Uh, the station was a busy place. We would have had a train from Aberdeen maybe every two hours and uh, the return back, 
the good yard was busy. You had the cattle and Mondays then, uh, I went to Wabi train. What's in the middle of the would have been our summer carting peats to the distilleries. Mills went to Wafi Krechtens at an average of five, six a week. Some were on wheels, some were uh, transported in Gara's Larry, horse drawn Larry. Gara had two horse, two men delivering for the station. We had the grain merchant, coal merchant, the station. There was two companies there. Aye. Oh, no, was thinking it was a busy place with a... a the said butchers, grocers, there was plenty of them. There were a lot of the, the folk from the Fian market, who did they arrive be trained? Oh, no, the, the folk from the Fian market would have been uh, farm servants. Uh, the Gordon Highlanders band came out by train and uh, when I was at the baker's I saw their dinner being heated. It just came in trays like steak pie or something of that kind. Uh, the band would have paraded around the village and then had a performance in the, on the market stands and usually they managed to rope in one or two recruits. They were team to the armory hut and uh, enlisted there. So, I mean, you know, see, I'm thinking, right? Well, we had Sandy Wilson, he was a horse dealer. He was a great character, Sandy. He uh, would have had anything up to maybe a hundred horses at one time, just before 80 Fair. Uh, and they would have been in fields run about stricken. Uh, and then on the, the Aki Fair morning they were all gathered together and walked to Aki Bray for sale. He was really a great character, Sandy, and then he spent a few years in uh, Canada, and I believe he was horse dealing there, and he came back and uh, finished these days in the village, but uh, there was many a time at Sandy with Tina Leno. He didn't care in too many horses he had. And, uh, folk would have got the Leno in and, and maybe never got it back. So the story goes, in a way. Right?